So our class will be on the story of development. So before we go to the lesson, let's learn, let's see the meaning of development first. Okay. So what do you mean by development or develop? So according to dictionary, the word development is from develop only. Develop is the verb and development is the noun. Develop is nothing but to, to grow gradually, become or make more mature, advance or organize. And development is nothing but a new stage or event. Okay. When we say development, it is not stagnant. Okay. It is a new thing, a new improvement, a new achievement or a, a move to a greater height. So development is nothing but a progress toward something which is better okay so we have learned the meaning of development so let's go to what development means in economics or in when we say development it means the meaning is different for everyone for some development will be earning better income or for every individual, it differs, okay, term development. You see in this picture, this is the Tipai Mukdam. It is in Manipur. This river flows down to Bangladesh, okay. This is a dam constructed by the government. According to economists, this is a kind of development, okay? This dam will generate electricity. It will increase irrigation. It will be used for irrigation and power supply. But even this has an effect, the ecological effect. For example, the people living in and around the Dam side, the place will be submerged, their homes will be flooded, will be under the water. Okay, they might receive compensation, but for them, it is a sacrifice their homes, their lands, all the resources which they have enjoyed earlier will be submerged in this dam. And even for this Bangladesh people, the ill effect, it will affect the ecosystem, the river ecosystem in the downstream. So they are protesting. So when you see this dam, dam project, it is nothing but for some it is a development, for some it is not a development. It adversely affected them okay so when we talk about development it means it has meaning for, it has different meaning for different individuals okay so in other words development is nothing but the embodiments of our dreams and aspiration so my class will be mostly based on the slide okay you look carefully at the slides and listen to my explanation. I prepared this hurriedly. Next time I'll I'll come up with better presentation. Since this is the first class, we'll manage with this few slides. You look carefully at the slides. I'll be, keep on explaining. We'll end. We'll start with the slide and we'll end in the slide. Okay. So when we say development, 
it is nothing but it is the embodiment of our dreams and aspiration so when so if you from class 1 to class 10 you keep on increasing the class you keep on every year you left the lower class and you go to higher class that is also one example of development okay so likewise you need a new clothes we need a new car a new house or a new dress all those are dreams and aspiration okay when we achieve all those dreams or when we get that desire or aspiration it is a kind of development okay development has varied meaning so but in this lesson in this chapter it is mainly related to the economy as a whole okay so let's go to the next slide so now we'll come to the general in a country <clears throat> in a country or what are the indicators of development when do we say that a country is developed or is in the process of developing okay there are many indicators which determines whether a country is developed or underdeveloped or developing okay we'll see the indicators one by one here in the slide i have written down all the indicators <coughs> the first one is income or per capita income and the next is infant mortality rate you you better focus on the slide okay no need to write down since your this video will be uploaded you can see later if you want to write down you right now you better listen try to understand first okay if you don't understand we can repeat it in the next class also. so the the main indicators of development of a country or of a state is are these points which i've listed down here in the slide so number one is income or per capita income infant mortality rate sex ratio expectation of life at birth and human development index okay so i'll explain this point by point and let's move to the next slide so the first indicator is income so so what is per capita income when we say income yeah we know we all know that what we get monthly or daily that is our income if your parents are salaried government servants the monthly salary is the monthly income okay but here when we say per capita income it is different okay it is the total income of the area okay total income of area means let's say per capita income is for the country let's say total income of the country which will be divided by the total population this is known as per capita income see the picture below from this you can understand what do you mean by per capita income let's say there are five individuals can you see the five individuals in the picture the first one earns twenty-five thousand dollar okay here it's written dollar let's say rupees let's say twenty-five thousand rupees ten thousand ten thousand the fourth one earns sixteen and the last is twenty-one thousand so their total the total income is for all this individual 
it is 82,000. So if you divide by 5, the answer will be your per capita income. Okay, what will be the answer? If you divide 82 by 5, it will be 5 one is 5. Oh, I can't hear his hard ways back. Just click on the unmute. Where? It's um, not mute. Is your speaker working? Just come out once. Okay, just hold on. Okay, because no one else is joining. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, very unfortunate. Stop the share once. Then, audio is on. Okay? Maybe she's put it off. Check, check your sound. Are you getting the sound? Yeah. I think nothing is wrong. I can't hear her voice. Maybe she's not <coughs> speaking. Um, you carry on. Okay, you can do the editing later. No? Oh. Recording. I'll record the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. We'll okay. We'll edit it together. Let's go back to the slides. So. This is all a slide show from the beginning. So what is your answer? Show me your book since I can't hear your voice. <laughs> five eighty two divided by five, eighty two thousand divided by five is uh, it'll be five one is five and then Five six thirty it will be around fifty six thousand, right? Fifty six something. So, so that will be the per capita income. So, this is the example of per capita income. For example, in the country, there are five people. The total income is divided by the total population. This is the per capita income. This is one indicator of development of a country. So if the per capita income is high, then a country is said to be developed. Okay. Poor countries have very low per capita income. And developed countries, they have high per capita income. So Income is the one of the indicators of development. So well, let's go to the next slide. So, have you ever come across the story of King Midas? He's a greedy king. What I want to show you is that money is not everything. Okay, even when you have high income. When, when you have all the money which you can buy anything you want, there are some which money cannot buy. So when it comes to the indicators of development, income is not only the indicator. So as a homework, you see, you try to search the story of King Midas, okay? He's a greedy king and his wish finally came through and what what happened was that everything he touched was turned into gold. Okay. But he is not happy with that. Okay. So this means that income is not the only thing which we need. So let's see the other indicators of development. That is Another point is infant mortality rate. <coughs> what do you mean by infant? Infants are babies, right? Below one year. Okay. So, infant mortality rate is nothing but the chance of <coughs> dying between birth and exactly one year of age expressed in terms of 
deaths of infants per thousand life part in that year. So in a year, out of this, let's say in the country or in our state, there are 1,000 babies life part in a year. And out of that, if 10 died, okay, before they reach their age of one, then that 10 will be the infant mortality rate. So another indicator of development is infant mortality rate. As long as there is low death rate, it is a good indicator that the country is in a process of development or in a good state. Okay, so high infant mortality rate, it relates with the poor health infrastructure. Okay, if there is no good health care of mothers, babies, there is a characteristic of poor countries. So in poor countries, there is a high rate of infant mortality rate okay so this is the second indicator let's go to the next another indicator of development is sex ratio what do you mean by sex ratio see in the picture these are the males and these are the females this side there are 100 males. This side, there are 100 females. This means that the ratio is 1. So 1 is to 1. Okay. Yeah, look, look at this picture. There is one female here and on the other side, there are 4. So what will be the ratio of this? It is 4 by 1. So here the males are more and females are less. Okay. This is an example of India where there is a preference for male child. Okay. So let's go to the definition. Of sex ratio. Sex ratio is nothing but the number of females per 1,000 males. If there are, if the female is less, let's say out of 1,000 males, if there are 800 or 900 females, there is a low sex ratio. It is adverse for female. Okay. This is one indicator of development. When there is a preference for male, that means the country is not yet developed. They stuck to the old <coughs> belief or old preference for male child. Okay. So the next indicator will be expectation of life at birth. So this is nothing but it is the number of years a newborn infant would live if prevailing patterns of age specific mortality rates at the time of birth were to stay the same throughout the child's life. Okay, expectation of life at birth. This is nothing but, it is just like a prediction that how long the child will live, okay? If the prevailing mortality rate, mortality rate means dead rate. If there is high dead rate at that time, that means you will not expect long life, right? Those developed countries, they have high expectation of life at part, okay? It is the prevailing patterns of a specific mortality rate at the time of part where to stay the same throughout the child's life. So this is another indicator of 
development. So the next indicator is human development index. So this is not a single indicator. This is a combination of many things. Okay. Before we come to the definition or the meaning of HDI, let's see how this index evolve. You know this whole old fellow. This is Amartya Sen. Have you heard before? So he is an economist. He got the Nobel Prize in Economics in 1998. Okay, he is an Indian. Okay, this is for your general knowledge. So this is Amartya Sen. Amartya Sen develop an approach, okay, an approach known as the capability approach to development, okay. In his approach, there are three dimensions which he introduced so to whether a country is, is developed or not okay or the in the meaning of development he introduced three dimensions that is the ability to meet basic needs and the other is self-esteem and freedom to choose can you understand this abilities to meet basic needs this is one point which he introduced in his capability approach abilities to meet to meet basic needs or basic needs are what food shelter clothing okay all these are basic needs self-esteem okay and then freedom to choose choice okay from this approach, this human development index is developed, okay? So human development index is nothing but, it is a summary measure of average achievement in key dimensions of human development. So that there are three dimensions here in the index. That is a long and healthy life, being knowledgeable, and have a decent standard of living. These are the three dimensions which this index takes into account. Okay. What do you mean by index? Okay, see, it is just like your mark sheet. Okay, you have different subjects your science, your social science, your maths, all those marks which you get in different subjects are brought together in one mark sheet paper and your results are compiled. It's not it. Like, likewise, Human Development Index is composed of three things. That is, a long and healthy life, being knowledgeable and a decent standard of living. These three are taken together to form an index called the Human Development Index. So, from this picture you can understand. When we say a long and healthy life, a long and healthy life is determined by life expectancy at part. Okay? how long the child will live, okay? And the second one is knowledge. Knowledge is determined by expected years of schooling or mean years of schooling. So this is the education index. And decent standard of living. 
is determined by what we say the per capita income which I have explained in the first in the previous slide all these three index are brought together to form one index that is known as human development index so this index is one indicator of development of a country when the index number is high that means that a country is far more development those than those which have low index okay from this data you will understand this is the latest data which I've taken from UNDP see this is the top 10 countries okay in terms of human development index see Norway Norway the human development index value is 0 0.954 so Nor Norway has the highest human development index <coughs> see in this top 10 with even America is not United States is not included in the this top 10 okay why because this is an index which does not look only in in the income side okay it looks at the life expectancy the knowledge and the income it takes three things together that's why even if you have high income if you have low more you high mortality rate then the index your index will not be high okay so Norway has the highest human development index in the world okay see one in the 10 it is Netherlands where is India in the in this position in the index where where will be India let's see okay see India is in 129 okay so our index is not that high it is in the middle okay we are not in the top 10 we are not in the top nor in the lowest part no we are just in the middle okay so this is the human develop human development index so all we have come through gone come through all the indicators so all the indicators are let's go back a recap a country indicators of development are per capita income infant mortality rate sex ratio expectation of life at birth and then the human development index okay these are the indicators of development of a country a country which have high per capita income is said to be developed but this is not the only indicator even when you have high income if you have high infant mortality rate low sex ratio low expectation of life at birth then it is not complete okay you have to have high income at the same time you have to be healthy you have to have you have to be happy and then you have to be knowledgeable so development is not only money it looks into different dimension okay these are the indicators of development of a country okay so you find King Midas story is just like a this is a nice story it has a good moral lesson and then you check out the human development index of different countries 
and even for Manipur also you can from your tech in the textbook all those data are all one so you better search for the latest okay for today let's stop here thank you